The River Don has been one of the most polluted river systems in Europe for nearly 200 years. People had turned their backs on the river. About 200 years ago, there was a population of salmon living on the River Don. You could spot them all the way up to Sheffield. But because of all the pollution and all the obstacles and weirs that are put in the river, the salmon have disappeared. About 40 years ago, the river was dead. There were nearly 350 weirs on that river system. Each of those weirs restricts the movement of fish. It has a significant effect on the ecology of the river system. If you think of it as a large brick wall in the river, it was just an impassable barrier to those fish. And the habitat above this structure is extremely good for salmon. ABP has four ports here on the Humber, and the Humber is the busiest estuary in the UK, handling over 80 million tonnes of cargo on an annual basis. It's also an incredibly important estuary for the environment. The Fish Mitigation Project was a project between ABP, the Rivers Trust and the Environment Agency. ABP issued the Rivers Trust with a grant fund of £180,000. The Rivers Trust have implemented a variety of projects to improve the chances of migratory fish successfully spawning and migrating in the Humber River Basin. Well this spawning tributary here is in Colsterdale on the River Burn. There was no access for salmon to get up this spawning tributary for over 100 years. This was always one of the most important spawning tributaries for salmon in the whole of the Euro system. Salmon were blocked to moving up the River Burn in this particular location by a large weir. We got funding from Associated British Ports to remove the weir. So we removed the weir from the river and just opened up the channel completely. Removing this weir will allow free access for lamprey, eel, bullhead, trout, sea trout, lots of other species of fish as well, not just salmon. Fish passes allow that migration. If we could achieve that objective of putting fish passes in all those weirs right up to Sheffield, we were in a position to be able to get salmon back to the areas where they were able to reproduce once again. Once the weir is removed, the salmon recolonise this part of the burn almost immediately. The salmon managed to access spawning grounds they haven't been able to access for quite a long period of time. We've seen salmon in the middle of Rotherham trying to jump at one of the weirs so every time somebody puts a fish pass into the river the salmon seem to find their way across it. The removal of the weir is, is really critical there just for expanding the whole system really. We need these fish up dales to get into the gravel. It's paramount that we get rid of the obstructions and get the fish back to how they used to be. It's really good ecologically, we've got all sorts of fish coming back now, it's not just the salmon, as you can see trout the grayling, so we get all sorts of fish up here, but predominantly at the faster end, we are getting the game fish. That has a good benefit to the local economy. Adult salmon will be coming back to the river, they'll be caught by anglers. Those anglers use local businesses and hotels, and that brings increased value into the community. The salmon are coming back. It's a clean river now. Wildlife is beginning to return. We now have kingfishers, herons, we even have otters in the middle of Sheffield once again. Something that would have been totally unthinkable 30 years ago. These fish belong here. They're a part of the Dale, they're part of the history of the country. Everyone who's involved with the Trust recognises their achievement. It's something that they can be proud of, that they can turn to their children in future years and point to and say, I was instrumental in getting Sam back into Sheffield. <laughs>